Hi, it's Gail at Giving Back with Gail, and on this week's vlog, I'm going to tell you about all the joy that I find in giving back while I'm abroad, and share with you ways you can do the same. Hey everybody, so this week's vlog is all about giving back when you go abroad. I have always wanted to um, give back in every iteration of my life, you know? And so when I moved to New York, the first thing, one of the first things that I did was um, open myself up to the opportunities to travel more because I was closer um, and than I was when I lived in California. And one of the very first places that I wanted to go that like really spoke to my heart was Paris, France. And when I tell you that I found a place that like speaks to my heart, I, I found a place that I adore and I love. And so one of the first things that I did when I decided to take my trip to Paris was to reach out to volunteer organizations there so I can volunteer while I was there. I know quite often we hear about organizations whose sole purpose is for you to go there and volunteer with them. And it's called um, volunteerism. Um, so it's like tourism plus volunteering. Um, and that'll be a different vlog in terms of like what I feel about that. But I just wanted to remind you that you don't have to take you know solely those opportunities to give back where you do it the whole time that you're there. You can go and um, have the, the time that you want in the space, in the, in the place you want to have it, and still be of service. Um, so it's not so, it's not um, as heavy as a full week of doing things um, and giving back, um, which is still great, don't get me wrong, but not everyone has the chance to do that. And sometimes those opportunities aren't as cost effective. This way, you can plan whatever works within your budget and still be of service, which I think is the perfect way to combine those two. So all I did basically was um, once I booked my trip, I reached out to, I did a Google search on um, places that actually were places of volunteer in Paris. Now I'll be the first one to tell you that it's not easy to find places um, when you go out of the country. But it makes sense, right? Because most of them, much like when you're in the States, are looking for people who can uh, volunteer consistently. And it totally makes sense. And they want someone who can speak the language of the country that they're in. And I don't personally speak French, I'm, I'm learning. Um, so it does make sense to some extent, but I also think like service is just service, you know? So I did a Google search. I found um, an organization called Serve the City of Paris, and they are kind of an umbrella organization that has different iterations underneath it. And um, I reached out because there's like only a certain day that I was, I was going to be there for like five or six days, and there's a certain day that kind of fit within my schedule. And it turns out that they um, do like a lunch service for the people in their community that are elderly and are kind of living check to check. And so after like a, an email exchange going back and forth, um, I was able to confirm uh, an opportunity to serve while I was there. And this is back in 2016. And I, I have to tell you, it was one of the most amazing serving opportunities that I've had because it was done at the um, American Church of Paris where a lot of uh, expats go um, because they've got you know, spouses who live there now and they've come with them, they're there because of jobs, what have you. It's a wonderful way to be of service and actually not have to speak the language if you don't know it, which is nice. So it was actually perfect for me going in. Um, but I had a chance to go there, meet a lot of um, Americans who are just living there now because of the experiences that I was telling you about before. And they're all serving these wonderful dinner, this, this lunch to these wonderful people. But it was very much um, <clears throat> not like the American way that we do in terms of serving people, right? Like I've done a lot of volunteering and a lot of food service. And for the most part, it's very much like you come sit down, kind of a buffet style um, and or, you know, occasionally we do serve at a table, but then it's kind of like get on, you know, get out. We've got to serve the next table. All of that's perfectly fine. And I'm not saying that by any means in a judgmental way. But the contrast of that when I was in Paris was that they were they had like, you know, real knives and like plates and, um, you know, utensils and glassware. And there was there was a leisure leisureliness to uh, to the whole lunch event. There wasn't any rush. Um, someone was playing the piano. There was like different courses. There was like the cheese course and then the salad course and then the main course. And there was like coffee and dessert. And it was just so lovely, you know? And I was sitting there thinking, this is part of why I love to give back in different places, because it allows you to see what service looks like in all around the world. And so I remember like 
connecting with people. I, I'm still in touch with a couple people that I met on my service, um, that, that trip where I was of service. Um, and I remember like speaking to some of the people in my very, very, very limited French that I have and them being really generous and lovely to me even though I didn't speak the language as fluently as I'd hoped to. Um, and the other expats and I just having a really great time connecting. I made a big pot of rice for the lunch. Um, I helped, you know, deliver some of the chicken, help clean up all the tables, all that. I had an older French gentleman like flirt with me because he, you know, and apparently he's the big flirt of the whole crew once I found that out. Um, but there was something really amazing about getting out of like your own narrow idea of what service looks like because it's, it's just been one way, you know? And so I was able to see it with new and fresh eyes. And it was really lovely to see, you know, it looked like something like a real dinner that has happened to be for people who are a little bit um, in, in more of need, you know, just older people who were living check to check. And it was really, really lovely. And so I remember like leaving there and feeling so connected because it's one thing to be there for a vacation and to explore and to see another part of the world I had yet to see. It's another thing to take that part of me, the core of me, the heart of me, and realize and remind myself that I can take that anywhere around the world and still do good. Like, ah, oh, like just thinking about it warms my heart. Um, and you're probably thinking, well, yeah, of course, Gail, that makes sense. But it's not until you're in the moment, you know, I think we get places and we're so not sure about things, but what what's the foundation and what's certain for me is that my heart is always what it is and giving back is always part of who I am and it's a big part of of my life and 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 just the core of who I am and so it was really wonderful to be able to take that and be and not worry about language barriers and not worrying about anything and just see that humanity is still humanity no matter what language you're speaking and that is a lovely reminder for me and so um, I came back here, I was telling people about that, and um, I looked at other ways to be of service when I went to Italy, and that didn't quite work out, because again, there was a limited amount of organizations that I personally found when I Googled that wanted like someone just kind of jump in and help for the day. I wish that more of them were open to that, because I think that it's a lovely way to add a sense of connection when you go on vacation. I think it's one thing to take pictures and look around and see new, new venues and new sites, it's another thing to look at someone eye, eye to eye and say, my heart sees your heart. I don't speak the language that you speak, but I get it. And I'm here to be of service to you. No matter what you look like, no matter what your age, no matter, no matter what language you speak, we are both humans and I'm here to be of service. Like, I think that's amazing. And I think that I really wish more um, countries were more open to that. I think that they're a little concerned because they don't people to like just drop in and keep going. But I think if you had like a, a consistent um, space to do that. People can, would know, hey, I'm going to Italy. I can contact, you know, so-and-so when I'm there and I can be of service. And, and that would actually help them probably in terms of their volunteerism, right? Maybe there's a gap in people who can come in and volunteer for that week. Now you've got three Americans who are coming in to vacation and have time on that Thursday and Friday and they can fill that gap. So I'm actually um, working on something within the, the frame of Game Back with Gail to connect with more countries to see if we can make that more uh, of a reality, you know? And so I'm actually, um, by the time you, you see this vlog, I will actually be in Paris again. And I again reached out to serve the city Paris, except this time I'm not gonna do the lunch. I'm going to do the morning, um, help, the, sorry, the, for, the morning distribution where they go to their local cafe and they get sandwiches and soups and coffee and they distribute, distribute those things to the people on the street. And that was something I was not able to do last time I was there, but definitely something that I can do this time that I'm there. Um, and I just, I'm just really grateful to be able to, uh, I'm like, I, I know like I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm running out of words and ways to say that I'm just so overwhelmed by the fact that I can be of service no matter where I am. You know, and so I'm really excited to go and meet some expats, to meet some um, French natives, obviously, and um, and just to go to the city that I love and do what I love. Like that's what's really amazing. And so I want to hopefully inspire you to do the same. When you're going out and you're signing up for your vacation, um, do a quick Google search and see if there's an organization within that country, um, whether it's Italy or Paris or you know Germany or wherever you're heading out to on your wonderful vacation. 
maybe there's an organization at that time who could really use like a couple hours of your time while you're there. All you have to do is Google it. If you can't find anything, feel free to email me. My email, um, you can find the website. I will put it below as well. Um, I'll probably put it along here. <laughs> um, but just do a quick Google, Google research and a little Google search rather, and I'm sure you can find out something. If you can, again, feel free to contact me. But just think about how amazing that would be. The more we were service to each other, that, that means that there was somebody in Paris two years ago who saw me, um, a black woman from America who came out to be of service to them there in Paris. Whatever their idea of what that looks like in America, it's shifted because now we've, been, we've seen each other a heart to heart and there's the humanity that's there. Um, someone goes to another country and whatever like th thoughts you might have about them, you're like, no, I'm here to be of service. I think it just opens up our hearts and opens up our minds as well when we're servicing places with people who don't necessarily look like us. It's definitely, I think, a way to make us more connected. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place in this vlog, so I apologize. I'm just really, I'm really passionate about it and I can't quite get my mind around the best way to make it easy for people just yet. So I think that's what I'm trying to work out while I'm telling you this because I wanna make it easier for you to do what I'm doing right now. I wanna make it easy for you to be able to say, hey Gail, I'm going to Argentina. I love the serving this day, who should be my contact? That's what I'm working on because that's really what it's all about, right? Making it easy for you to be of service no matter where you are on the planet. Don't get me wrong, being of service when you're in the States is great. I just wanna use this vlog right now to remind you that you can also be of service when you go on vacation. I was recently in uh, Colombia and I didn't get a chance to be of service down there, but I did make a contact with a gentleman who had a nonprofit so that the next time I do go back down there, I will be able to be of service there as well. So it's all about connections and all about making sure that we see each other and we ask the right questions and we just say, I want to help and what can I do? And if there's not a better way to make the world better, <laughs> I don't know what it is, you know? I know, I'm, I'm just so inspired but the good that we all want to do around the world, you know, my Instagram page is like inspirational every single day, people doing amazing stuff. And I want to see that worldwide, you know, I want to see us intermingling, intermingling people who don't look like us, who don't speak the same language as us, who are fundamentally different than us on so many levels, because that's where world change happens. Right? When I see you just for the human being that you are, regardless of all the isms connected to it, you know, um, and regardless of all the things that are different about you, then that's where real change happens, in my humble, humble, humble opinion. Ooh, it's making me cry. Sorry. I'm just um, a really big proponent that service can change the world and make it better because we see each other for the human beings that we are and the fact that we all need love, we all need help, we all need, to, we all need a little bit of something to get to the next place in our lives. And it's so true. None of us gets to this life alone. We all need to have somebody to help us out. And service is the daily reminder of that for me and I think hopefully for you. So I hope that this vlog has inspired you to want to take your next vacation abroad and do a quick Google search and find out ways that you too can be of service when you're on vacation. You don't have to be there, you know, you can basically make it work for what works for your time frame and your budget without having to feel like you have to do a um, volunteerism trip that might cost you a little more, little more money or need you to be, um, to have more of a long-term commitment because they tend to have, you want you to be there for, uh, you know, a week or more, like, you know, three weeks, a month, so that there's a consistent amount of commitment, which I get. Um, but it may not work for everybody's, like, budget and or time frame, because we all have to work um, and get get back to work, obviously. So I have, I've inspired you just a wee bit, and I hope that you're, the next time you decide to plan a trip, and as you click yes to your, your plane ticket, you reach out and do a quick Google search and find out if there's an organization that could use your help while you're there because I think that that'll be a wonderful way for you to connect to you. And a wonderful way for you to connect to the locals or you're gonna go visit. Like I think that's the best part about experiencing travel too is that now you have a connection with a local that lives there. You get a, a chance to see the, that place where you're going to go visit through the eyes of locals, not just the eyes of just kind of touristy kind of things. And the best part of all, you get to help somebody in need. And I don't think it gets much better than that. So I hope that I've inspired you. I hope I haven't blappled on too much. <laughs> you know how I get. I get excited about service. I get excited about giving back. And I just go on. So I'm sorry if I've, if I've uh, gone on too long this time. But 
Um, if you have a chance and you're heading to Paris, please check out Serve the City Paris, um, also American Church of Paris, which also is really great for a lot of expats. Um, and I will try to find any, I will find more information and put that on my website. I'm working on that right now. Um, but if you have any organizations that you want to refer to me so I can refer to other people, like you've been to some country and been of service there like for one day or two days while you were there on vacation, please let me know. I'd love to share that with our wonderful community here um, and our Instagram community and Facebook. So yay i like i said by the time you see this i will be in paris and i will be on my way to being of service there again because nothing makes my heart happier than being of service and if i can do it while i'm traveling all the better Whew. all right so thank you guys again as always for following and and watching this this week um i'm sorry for the two-week hiatus um i was traveling um a bit and i did a little bit of a downtime but i appreciate you guys all working with me and um i will see you guys again here next week we'll be back on track which is exciting, and um, with some more new information about giving back um, and some new topics for the new year, which I'm excited about. So, happy new year. Thank you guys all for, for, for joining me and being part of this wonderful community. Um, don't forget our Instagram community, our Facebook community, um, Twitter, which gets a little less love. Sorry, Twitter. <laughs> um, and as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to comment below and let me know what you think. Um, uh, feel free to email me, DM me, all of the above. And as always, I truly believe that we can change the world through service. And it means the world to me that you guys are coming along for the journey. All right. See you next week.